Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio, and in this particular tutorial, we are going to continue with VR, and we're going to set up a VR UI menu, and it's super easy. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here we are back in Unity, and I am at Mel's Burgers. And what we want to do is we want to create a world space UI so we can actually click on a menu and then order a burger. So for us to be able to do that, what we need to do is to create a UI. So I'm going to go ahead and again, trying to keep things organized, I'm going to create a new empty game object and I'm going to call this UI. Now we've got a couple different options for how we can create our UI. So we first need a UI canvas. Now there's a couple different ways that we can do that. One is with our regular Unity UI, we've got the option of choosing a canvas. The problem with that is that this is set up to be screen space overlay. And you can see that there is a second option, which is XR UI canvas. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that option. The reason I choose that option is because it is already set up to be world space so that it will exist within our world versus being overlaid over top of the camera once it's rendered. So let's go ahead and just call this order menu and then inside of that I need to go ahead and create another empty game object just to stay organized so I'm gonna create a new empty game object and we'll call this ready to order now inside of this I want to go ahead and create a panel so we're gonna create a UI panel and what this does for us, this panel automatically goes to the edges of our UI we're going to have a set UI and right now you can see that if we zoom out this UI is way big. Now it is in our world space, which is cool, but it's just too big. So we need to go ahead and scale this down. So I'm gonna scale the UI down, not the panel. So let's go ahead and go to our scale. I'm gonna go ahead and just lock the X and the Y axis, and I'm gonna just make that 0 0.01. Now this might just be a little bit big yet, but let's go ahead and just double click and see where it's at in our world space. I'm gonna move this out just a little bit, move it over slightly. And there we go. So it might still be just a little bit big. I'm going to go ahead and just take this down just a little bit further. So let's make that 0.06. Yeah, something like that. Now, the cool thing is because this is in world space, we can actually go and rotate it as well. So I'm going to use my rotate tool and I'm going to rotate this slightly up so that the, the user can actually look down on the menu slightly. So it's a little more comfortable. And then I'm going to go back to my panel. I'm going to, as, as opposed to this panel being white, I'm going to go ahead and just make that black that's just a design choice and i want to go ahead and make this fully opaque versus transparent all right so now that we have that set up let's go ahead and add some text so just like our normal uis we can go ahead and add a little bit of ui text so we're going to add a ui text mesh pro and there we go we have some text added the text is just a little bit big and i want to make sure that it fits to my ui so let's go ahead and just scale this down so where it fits into my panel and i'm going to go ahead and just change the text let's say ready to order with a question mark and of course that text is a little bit too big so i'm going to go ahead and just scale this text down and i'm also going to center it and center it within the text space itself then i'm going to go ahead and just move it up a little bit so that we have space for button okay and we want to definitely add a ui button here so again here is my panel and inside of that i want to go ahead and add a ui button so i'm going to go to ui you are going to use a button text mesh pro and that's definitely way too big and let's go ahead and scale this down just a little bit so something like that i think looks pretty good let's go ahead and also just scale the sides down and then we're gonna go ahead and change the text inside, change that to order. And then let's go ahead and with the button, we want to give some user feedback when they use this button. So first I wanna change the color of the button itself. So I wanna maybe make this just a little more engaging with a nice bright orange color. And then I'm gonna take the text itself and make that so there we go, we have a nice engaging button. And if we go back to button, we've got options for how this button works. So if we, if our Raycast from our controller interacts with this, we wanna be able to show, we wanna show that this button is interactable. So I'm gonna have a normal color, then I can use a highlight color. So let's go ahead and change the highlight color. And let's maybe change this to a little bit of a deeper orange. And then if we can do a press, let's go ahead and make that maybe a little bit more on the green side. Yeah, something like that. Cool. All right, so now we have our button and everything ready to go. So let's go ahead and just get into VR real quick just to see how this looks. All right, so let's go and head over to our order. 
And here we go. If we roll our cursor over, you can see that our menu button turns to a dark red. If I click it with a, using the trigger button, you can see that that then changes color. All right, so now that I have that set up, let's actually make it do something. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I wanna have a second menu so that this first one goes away and then we have a menu that has several buttons on it for different types of burgers. So back in my scene view, we've created this as a canvas. So we have this canvas and we have everything within this ready to order. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. So I'm gonna hit Command D, Control D, and we'll just call this one menu. All right, so let's go ahead and just change a few things real quick just so we can see this work. So I'm gonna just change this text to a menu and then we'll change this button to be something a little bit different. And there we go. So we now have a second menu, but let's go back to the first one real quick. And what we wanna do is we want to turn this menu off. So we're gonna have our ready to order. And then when we click our button, we want this first menu to go away and our second menu to come up. So if we look at our first menu and we go to our button, if we scroll down, you can see that there is already an on click event. So we're gonna go ahead and click plus. And then so if somebody clicks this button, we're going to take our ready to order and we're gonna go down to our game object function and we're gonna set active. And then we can go ahead and just make sure that this checkbox is off and it actually turns that menu off. So effectively what that's gonna do is to take this menu and turn it off right here. It just unchecks it. And if we do that, then we also want to take this menu and then turn it on. So we're gonna add another event to it. So let's scroll down. So we have one event that turns the first menu off. Then we wanna go ahead and click plus to do another action. And we're gonna turn our second menu on. So we're gonna to go to game object, set active, and we're gonna go ahead and have that checked. So let's give this a test to see if it works. Okay, so here I am at Mel's Burgers. Let's go ahead and head over to our menu. And I wanna order, so I'm gonna click order. That first menu goes away and then our second menu gets activated and then I can go ahead and click on one of these burgers and I haven't set those up, but you get the idea. So this is setting up a UI for VR. Hey, hope you enjoyed that tutorial on something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.